bonus video for you guys today because today is the first or it's game three of the Sharks LA Stanley Cup playoffs series. Um, they are coming home today after winning two in LA so I thought I would bring Joe Pavelski down here with me to talk about some nail polish. My friend Eric, um, you guys on Twitter who are super Sharks fans will probably know Eric. His name is PuckGuy14 across all social media things. Um, he's amazing. I have actually known him since about, I started tweeting him and we were chatting back and forth online from about 2009, so right when I started my YouTube channel. Um, he was probably one of the first people that honestly watched my videos as well as commented back and would have conversations about, you know, the sharks with me. And so um, he is a very good friend of mine and he is very, very cool and he has crazy like hockey IQ and he, he just knows a lot, especially about the sharks. And so um, he asked me to do a video on some teal nail polish and some um, nail polish things for any Sharks fan during the playoffs. I actually used to do videos like this every year and then um, just life got in the way. So I'm happy to do one again this year. Please excuse the fact that I am not really, I've done my eyebrows today and I'm wearing a little bit of mascara, but otherwise it's super hot today as you can probably tell from the fact that my cheeks are really red. Um, my skin, as I said before, has, it reacts really, it's very sensitive to temperature, but it's super, super hot today to the point where I woke up and I was hot. And so putting on makeup just didn't sound good, but my eyebrows are really wonky. So I was like, I need to do my eyebrows. Um, so please excuse the fact that I look like this otherwise. And I'm up here on my bed just because it's cozy. Um, so yeah, I have some teal nail polish to talk to you guys about and most of it is pretty easily accessible and really um, easy to find, which is the same as easily accessible, and it's very affordable because a lot of the things that I'm going to talk about are actually drugstore nail polishes. The colors that I'm going to show to you are still, I believe most of these are still available, so you'll be able to purchase them, both the drugstore ones and a couple of indie ones that I'm going to talk about at the end. In terms of teal nail polish, I feel like the four ways you can wear it are cream nail polish, you can do glitter, you can do a hollow, or you can do a shimmer, which up to you. Those are just the four personal ways that I like to do it. Um, I'm not super, I don't have enough time to do nail art as much anymore, so I'm not really going to go into nail art, but there is plenty, there are plenty of options for you otherwise. You could do ombre, you could do stamping, and other such ways of doing nail art, and I'll link a couple of those videos down below. Today I'm just going to talk about nail polish. Um, some of my favorite nail polishes that are just teal creams, so really no effect in them whatsoever, it's just the color, are from these brands, and I'll show them to you. Um, I will show you the ones that you can't actually get anymore, but color-wise are some of my favorite <laughs> to wear. This is, actually you might still be able to get this. This is Ski Teal We Dropped from OPI. It's a darker teal cream, um, very similar to some of the darker teal that is on the Sharks website, which is a very specific thing to say, but um, I feel like the Sharks website used to, it used to look different and it used to have a lot more darker cream, so, or darker teal. So this is one of my favorites just to get a little bit more of a dark teal nail. For a brighter teal, one of my favorites is OPI's Fly, which came out when the Nicki Minaj collection came out, like a couple years back. It's a beautiful teal cream. I love it. However, it is very, very similar in color to Sally Hansen's InstaDry in retail therapy like really color wise they're almost exactly the same um, the Hall the Sally Hansen you can actually purchase still in drugstores and it's got a really nice formula it's almost completely opaque in one coat it is the nail polish that I'm showing you in this watch as this video goes um, it's super bright it dries pretty quickly a couple of other teals that are really quite nice this is I guess technically turquoise this is a very very light turquoise but um, some people like more pastel toned colors. This is for Audrey from Chan Glaze. It is a classic. You can absolutely still purchase this. It's one of their like most popular colors. Um, it's a perfect light turquoise color. It's essentially like a Tiffany blue. I would say it's slightly more green than a Tiffany blue, but very, very pretty turquoise cream. 
And then another darker one, this is from Essie. This is called Go Overboard. Um, you might still be able to find this in a, in CVS occasionally. It's, um, it's I've seen it recently pop up in random stores. So it's pretty similar to Ski Teal we dropped from OPI. I would say that the Essie Go Overboard is a little bit more green toned. Moving on to shimmers, I have a couple of shimmers. If you guys watch my videos regularly and are not just here for shark stuff, then you will recognize one of these nail polishes. I am obviously talking about the colors Sharla from Zoya. It's my holy grail go-to sort of tealy mermaidy color that I always wear. I actually wear this a lot when I personally, it's like my good luck color. I have found that many good things happen when I wear this nail polish. It's like an oceany, lagoony type of blue, but it has a gold shimmer running through it. So it reads very teal and turquoise on the nail. I love this. I've done many nail of the day posts on my Instagram and my blog in the past featuring Julia's Sharla. Um, Zoya's Remy is a new purchase to me or like new in the last year and a half and it's a little bit darker. It's like a darker cousin of Sharla. So very similar in um, finish, very similar in color, just a little bit darker. If you can't find Zoya Sharla near you, I know Zoya sold in Ulta. My Ulta doesn't have just the core collection very often though. You can get Zoya off of their website and if you're looking for something now, you can go to drugstores. I have seen this in Rite Aid. They might have Jessie's Girl in Walgreens, but I think it's just Rite Aid. Um, but anyway, this is Jessie's Girl in Glee, which is very, pretty much exactly the same as Zoya Sharla. Um, same effect, same color combo, and very, very pretty, super, it's actually just a great summer color, so I recommend you get it anyway. Um, but yeah, if you wanna get one right now, today, then I would say pick up so um, Jessie's Girl, which is in the color Glee, and it's a gorgeous color. Some other shimmers that I absolutely love. This is an indie. This is called My Favorite Sweater from Na um, Native War Paints. I will link the store for Native War Paint down below. Um, they make the most gorgeous shimmer nail polish. And I'm not, ta I'm not talking like like a chunky glass flex shimmer like Sh um, Charlotte by Zoya. I'm talking a micro shimmer, which is really delicate, really, really pretty on the nail. This is a teal with a gold micro shimmer in it and it's stunning. I love this and the shimmer definitely reads very strongly on the nail, so um, you're not gonna miss out on it. And then this is Essie's Trophy Wife, which is not a great name for a nail polish, but it is a teal sort of metallic-y shimmer nail polish. And I have, this is part of Essie's core line, so you'll be able to find it pretty easily. Um, and yeah, it's absolutely stunning. I love it. And it's, it's one of my more like vampy teal colors that I wear more towards the fall, but it's a really pretty shark's teal if you're looking for one. For just straight up glitter, you can get the color in Nail Junkie from Simple Colors. This is super, super inexpensive. Um, it's a jelly teal formula with a bunch of opalescent glitter running through it. It is very, very sheer because it's a jelly, so it's super translucent and looks sort of like a gel on your nails. Um, what I recommend doing is putting this on top of a cream like Insta Dry's Retail Therapy. Um, do like two coats of this and one coat of this on top and you'll get the most beautiful um, sort of mermaidy teal nail, but it's a really, really pretty glitter and it's super easy to find and it's really inexpensive. Um, if you are somebody that is finding me through the nail polish world and have some other or want some other options for glitter, I would say get a jelly. This is Enfuo's um, JS33. They have an entire line of jellies. Again, it's that super translucent, very sheer, but jelly looking finish on the nail. They have an entire line of these in a million different colors. This just happens to be the teal one. Again, it's JS33. Um, and my favorite thing to do with jellies is to do the jelly sandwich manicure. So do a coat of this, a coat of some sort of chunky glitter. This is Linderella's I Don't Mean Rhinestones for teal lovers. This is a beautiful teal glitter. Or you can get a chunky glitter like Essie's um, Set in Stones, which is a silver chunky glitter and then do another coat of this on top and you get a really cool um, see-through like glitter manicure. I love doing that with nail polish. If you're a nail polish person, you absolutely probably already know this, but again, I'm doing this for just the um, 
the non-obsessive nail polish fan. And then I was talking about hollow nail polishes before. Um, for the non-obsessive nail polish fan out there, there is a finish called hollow and it's basically rainbow in a bottle. Um, if you follow me on Instagram or go look at my nail polish Instagram, you will see that I'm a very big fan of hollows. I have a lot of hollows and it's my favorite finish and it's just something about a rainbow mixed in with your favorite color just makes it so much better. Um, I have so many teal hollows. I did pick a couple that are still available um, through indie sites. Hollows are primarily finishes that you're gonna find in indie nail polish because no. I think as of right now, no mainstream brand makes a pure hollow nail polish, but it's amazing if you are willing to wait a little bit to get your nail polish and get an incredible looking nail polish. I absolutely would say go look at the indie nail polishes and, um, some hollows. This one is A England St. George, which is a really, really rich teal color with a hollow running through it. And this one is Cirque Colors in La Tropicale, and it's a beautiful, beautiful teal nail polish. I absolutely love this, and again, it has the hollow running through it. If you, again, are willing to wait and want some other teal options, there are three more teal options for you guys in some sort of different finishes. This is a glitter. This is from Picture Polish. It's in the color Lagoon, and it is a Lagoon type of bluish turquoise color, and it has some glitter running through it as well. Um, this is the color in Behead the Drama Queen from Colors by LaRoe, which is a teal shimmer. And then this one is one of my favorite nail polishes again, um, one of my favorite polishes of all time. This is from I Love Nail Polish and it's in the color Cold Fusion. This is a multi-chrome flaky so it is a very very um, <clears throat> metallic flake material in a teal color and it's stunning. This you can wear on its own or you could layer over any cream for example and it just makes the coolest looking nail polish manicure ever. So yeah, those are my favorite teal nail polishes. I hope you guys like this video. Um, if you guys are all set for playoffs, I hope the Sharks win today. Um, it would feel really good to beat LA in the first round of playoffs. Honestly, it would just like, it would feel really good. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys like this video. If you guys do, give it a thumbs up. If you guys are new to my channel, welcome. If you guys are Sharks fans, Go Sharks! Um, and otherwise, if you guys have a favorite team in the playoffs, good luck to your team. Um, if you guys are basketball fans, good luck to basketball fans too. Uh, I guess baseball just started, so you guys have like a hundred more games before, like literally a hundred more games before things um, wind down in the season. But anyway, if you guys want me to do a quick video like this for other colors, I would be happy to. Um, I could start doing them after my Flashback Friday videos are done. But yeah, otherwise, I hope you guys are doing well. Go Sharks, and I will see you guys soon.